In this lesson we're going to look at slightly more complicated recurrence relations that look like the one below. h of n plus 1 equals 4 times h of n plus 9 starting in value 16. This type of recurrence relation is referred to as a linear recurrence relation with a multiplier in front of h of n and then add or subtract at the end. The reason it's called a linear recurrence relation is because it's very similar to the straight line y equals mx plus c. Ok, looking at a few examples. A hot air balloonist at a height of 4000 feet finds the balloon is dropping by 15% of its height every minute. At the end of each minute period, he fires the burners for 10 seconds, which is long enough for the balloon to rise by 40 feet. Set up a recurrence relation showing the height hn after n minutes. So start with recurrence relation h of n plus 1 equals, and then we look for our multiplier. So this is balloons dropping by 15%. So it starts at 100%, it drops by 15 So you're now left with 85% of the height. So 0 0.85 is your multiplier, h of n. Then we look to add or subtract at the end of this. Now at the end, the balloon is rising by 40 feet, which would show you it's an add. The starting value is 4,000 feet up here, so h of o is equal to 4,000. Part B, what is the balloon's height after 2 minutes? Well, it does this each minute, so we need to run around this 2 times. So h of 1, take your 4,000, multiply by 0 0.85 and add 40, and you get this value. h of 2, take this value, multiply by 0 0.85 and then add 40 we get 2964. Restatement, after 2 minutes the balloon's height is 2964 feet. Ok, second example. The pressure inside the boiler on a steam train is 6,000 pounds and is rising by 6% by the end of each hour. At the end of each hour the safety valve opens and reduces the pressure by 44 pounds. Set up a recurrence relation showing the pressure Pn at the end of each hour. So same as before, P of n plus 1 equals, then we look for our multiplier. Now in this case, the pressure is rising by 6%. So it started at 100, it's now up to 106, so you multiply as 1.06 Pn. Then we look to see if we're adding on or subtracting after this. It says at the end of each hour the safety valve opens and reduces the pressure by 44, so that's a takeaway. And our starting value is £6,000 from here. It says here £7,000 is the maximum safe pressure the boiler can withstand. When will the pressure exceed this? So we need to go round this loop and see when we get bigger than 7000 So P of 1, take your 6000 multiply it by 1.06 and then take away 44. P of 2, do the same idea. You're taking this value this time. Multiplying by 1.06 and taking away 44. Same again. Oh. And in this time, we're actually over 7,000. We're 7,006.02 pound goes. So it says here, when will the pressure exceed this? Now, we're going round at the end of each hour of safety valve. So these are hours. So, statement, the pressure will exceed 7,000 pound goes after three hours. 